Hello everyone, it's Frank, your English teacher. How are you this week? Me, I'm fine and every time very happy to be with you. So I hope you are fine, happy and strong like Superman or Superwoman. <laughs> okay, we start the lesson. Let's take a look on that. So let's go. What are we doing this week? First, we will make a, a global review on the main fruits and main dishes. So be careful. There are a lot of things, okay? So I like to give you a lot of things. So try to learn and try your best. Number two, you will open your book after page 21 and we will take a look about children from the world and their lunches, okay? So you will see in the book, you must make a sentence and match with the correct dishes and today for this week a special extra lesson so we will travel a bit i will explain that to you just after okay are you ready stay focused we start okay so do you see there are many things everywhere many dishes many fruits okay so step by step one by one we will pronounce that okay so you follow me are you ready i start with the dishes left to the right up to down let's go omelet slice of pizza Hamburger, sandwich, salad, fried egg, noodles, fried rice, plain rice, fried pork, fried fish, fried chicken. Okay, so now let's talk about the fruits. Mango, strawberries, rambutan, banana or bananas because there are many bananas, lychee, pineapple, grapefruit, orange, grapes, watermelon, dragon fruit, pear apple raspberries okay so there are many things so take your time and start to learn okay what is your favorite fruit um for me that's the mango yes mangoes and strawberries i love that and about dishes Oh, it's difficult. Uh, sometimes Thai, sometimes uh, foreign food. It depends. Okay, but most of the time Thai food, of course. We are in Thailand, obviously. <laughs> okay, so you can click on pause and learn about this. Take your time and after, follow me. We continue. Okay, so here now you can open your book page. 21 and take a look on the picture discuss what these children eat for lunch in their countries so there is a thai girl a japanese girl a chinese boy and an american boy okay so take a look on the table what do you see now try to make a sentence but here i change the rules a bit shoes for every child three dishes three not two three okay and here everybody can eat everything okay so i give you the first example so on the book you can read 
the tiger eats rice and fried pork. Okay, but now teacher Frank asks you to choose three dishes for the Thai student, the Japanese student, the Chinese student, and the American student. Okay, click and pause, try your best. You can, you can, uh, you can maybe write on the book, okay, but take your time. Oops, use a pencil and an eraser in case of mistakes, okay? And try to write with the correct, correct consonant, consonant, sorry, correct consonants and correct vowels right well, okay? So try your best and we meet just after. Good luck. Okay, be careful, here are the answers, okay? So this is an example, okay? Maybe you found other things than, that uh, are, sorry, different from me, okay? It's possible, huh? but here is an example, okay? So I start to read, you can read those sentences, huh? follow me. The tiger eats rice, fried pork, and hamburgers. Uh, yes, the tiger can eat hamburgers, obviously. Okay, so I told you to choose three dishes. Okay, so here they have three dishes. Next, the Japanese girl eats noodles, sushis, and salads. So maybe you wrote hamburgers, uh, fried chicken, and rice, maybe, okay? It's just an example, okay? But three dishes. Next, the Chinese boy eats rice, fried chicken, and pizzas, okay? And the... American boy eats fried eggs, sushis, and pizzas. Okay. Uh, so here you have some children eat pizza, noodles, and here it's uh, maybe Korean food. I don't see. I don't see clearly. Or maybe uh, now a cake. <laughs> Korean food. It's a cake. Do, do you see the strawberry on the cake? Yes, it's a cake. Okay. So I'll try to repeat that. And now we talked about many people around the world with, with dishes, okay? So now this is an extra lesson, a fast one, but we will travel, okay? So do you have your flight ticket? We will travel now. Okay, so this is an extra lesson. Huh? So we talk about Chinese, Japanese, Thai, and American. So let's take a look on those countries. Yes, we can talk about this. So a bit of general knowledge. So let's travel. So we start with my lovely country, Thailand, of course. Okay, so a Thai child is from Thailand. Thailand is located in Southeast Asia. The capital city is Bangkok. Okay, so on the right, do you see Thailand? You see in red, and just below on the right, you have the Thai flag. Okay, and on the left, this is a picture of Bangkok. Okay, we continue. Let's continue to travel. Now we will talk about Japan. A Japanese child is from Japan. Uh, do you remember the Japanese girl? Yeah, so now we talk about her country. A Japan is an island country in East Asia. The capital city is Tokyo. 
Okay, so is the same on the right. Japan. The Japanese flag, white and red, with the red circle. And on the left, a picture of Tokyo by night. Okay, we continue. Two more countries. Now, let's talk about China a bit. A Chinese child is from China. So do you remember in the exercise, the Chinese boy? Mm -hmm. China is located in the Northern Asia. The capital city is Beijing. Okay, so on the right, China with Beijing, the capital city, the Chinese flag, on the right, and on the left, a picture by day of Beijing. Okay, and the last one, an American child is from America. We talk about North America or USA, United, U, whoo, sorry, United States of America. <laughs> The capital city is Washington. Okay, so do you see USA on the world map on the right? USA, take a look. You look on the left. USA, North America. Okay, do you see the, um, the American flag on the left this time? American flag. And the picture on the left is Washington on the evening. <laughs> okay, so we travel a bit. We spoke about food and foreign people. And now we travel a bit. We traveled a bit. Okay, so you can make a review on that if you are interested, but I think it's really important to be curious on many things. Okay. For this week, the lesson is over. So first, good job. Teacher Frank is proud of you. So today, whew, we traveled a lot. Okay, so next week, a new lesson, but with me again. <laughs> take care of you, take care of your family, and see you next week. Bye-bye.